Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. The elections have come and gone, but the elections are not yet over until the Supreme Court rule. As I brought up, is the president of Nigeria until the Supreme Court rules to give to certify that indeed he won the election because his election is being challenged. Now there is an issue, a story that was trending on social media, and uh, as I think there is a, a need to set the record straight because even though we are living in an information age. A whole lot of people are still being deceived because the propagandists manipulate the information out there. Now, one of the information that was trending was uh, a lie by Abayomi Arabambi, who is the spokesman of the so-called Lamidia Papa faction of the Labour Party. In his uh, message to Peter Obi on Peter Obi's 62nd birthday, uh, Arabambi claimed that the popularity of Peter Obi, that Peter Obi should know that the reason why he is popular is because of the popularity of the Labour Party. Can you imagine that? That the reason why P2B is popular is because of the popularity of the Labour Party. So it is the Labour Party that gave P2B popularity and not his integrity and not his capacity and not his track record when he was governor of Anambra State and every other thing he had done that showed a man of impeccable character a man that abhors corruption. Perhaps the only leader in Nigeria today who you can vouch that sitting in the Asso Road Villa, he will not allow corruption to run, to run riots on Nigeria the way it is running now. This is the man that Arabambi and Co are saying it was Labour Party that gave him popularity. Let me undo this video so that let me give you a little history of the Labour Party. Okay? Let me give you a little history of the Labour Party. You see, I will give you from 2011 so that you know that the so called popularity of Labour Party is a lie from the pit of hell. In 2011, Labour Party, at that time, the chairman of Labour Party was Dan Manyang. Labour Party, nobody has regard for Labour Party. In fact, the person that showed interest to be the presidential candidate of Labour Party was Dele Momodo of the official fame. The publisher of Ovation magazine. He was the only person of public uh, knowledge, somebody that is known to the public because he's a columnist and all that, who showed interest to be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in 2011. Even after he showed interest, at the end of the day, what did we get? At the end of the day, the Labour Party was so unpopular that it, ha it doesn't have confidence in its own uh, candidates. Dele Momodu, that the Labour Party endorsed Good Lord Jonathan, saying that he is the best, best thing to happen to Nigeria at that time, that he deserved the support of all Nigerians, including the Labour Party. And that was what happened. Labour Party abandoned Dele Momodo and, and worked for uh, uh, 
the good luck you Jonathan. Now this is the party that Arab and B telling you is, is popular. Where is the popularity of the Labour Party in 2011? Now in 2015, they didn't even have a candidate. At that time, the chairman, national chairman of Labour Party was uh, Abu Khalid Abu Salam. And his argument was that they don't have somebody who is credible enough to be the candidate of the party. So in 2015, Labour Party has no candidate. In fact, there was argument within the rank and file whether they should endorse Jonathan in 2015 or not. Because this Elijah uh, Musalam had to issue a statement to re 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 report the story that was making the rounds then that they have endorsed Jonathan again as they did in, 20, in 2011. But at this time, Dan Wanya was no longer the chairman of the Labour Party. It was this uh, Abu Khalid Abu Salam, the late Abu Khalid Abu, Abu Salam. So the party was so unpopular that there was nobody who was interested in picking the ticket of the Labour Party. So this is a party that Arab and B, Arab and B is telling people that they gave it to be popularity. In 2019, Labour Party had a candidate. His name was Usman Mohammed. Usman Mohammed. Labour Party was so popular in Nigeria that at the end of the 2019 election, Usman Mohammed scored only 5,074 votes. You can go and check the results of the 2019 presidential election. 5,074 votes. That was what he got. Now look at what P2B did in 2023. P2B did not only make Labour a household name in Nigeria. Labour was on the verge of winning the presidential election, but for the alleged rigging. You can see that Labour was so able to do well that if you, you can see. Now, P2B, Labour Party has never won any state before, but under P2B, he won 11 states and their city. And from the tabulation that have been done, and from the result, the challenge going on in the court, P2B is going to prove that you will see that P2B had won about 13 states plus the Federal Capital Territory Abuja. Now, that shows you and means that P2B won the highest number of states. If they rightly give P2B his result in River State, where even the Premier Times and the BBC have tabulated the result from Arif to show, to prove that P2B won River State that was given to Tinubu. P2B has evidence that he won Bengue State that was given to Tinubu. These two states, if you remove them and add to P2B, you see that P2B led level to win more states than any of the presidential candidates in 2019. And when the results are properly tabulated, which I have already given an inkling about when I talk about how P2B will move from third position to number one position, you will see that P2B took Labour Party to the level that has never, it has never reached and may never reach again, but for P2B. That is a gospel truth. Labour Party may be, may have been founded by Nigerian workers who are many. But the Labour Party was neglected by Nigerian workers, and Nigerian workers have been voting for PDP and the lately APC. But P2B was the one that galvanized Nigerians and made, and made the Labour Party a prominent party in Nigeria, a party to reckon with, a party that all things good and well might even produce the next president of Nigeria in a few months' time.
all things should be equal. That is how far Peter B had taken the Labour Party. He is the one that uses integrity, his influence, to make the Labour Party what it is. It is because of the love for Peter B. Because Nigerians cherish a man who is not corrupt, a man who is a who is concerned about the welfare of other Nigerians, a man who puts the public first before his personal interest, and they voted overwhelmingly for him. That is the man that made Labour Party what it is today, and not the other way around. Let's Arab and be and co, not try to stand history on each head. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. God bless you and yours.